Hi, in this lab, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Server as a router. How to do the routing with the help of Microsoft Server OS. In this lab environment, I'll be using two physical machines and on the top of two physical machines, I have two virtual machines each. On the first physical machine, the virtual machines are KVM1 and KVM2. And on the second physical machine, the virtual machines are DVM1 and DVM2. And uh, KVM2 is going to be the router in my first physical machine. And DVM2 is going to be my router on the second physical machine. And these two routers is directly connected. And we make sure or once we finish the routing, KVM1 and DVM1 can talk to each other. So let's go to the lab and see. So now I am in my first physical machine. KVM1 IP address is 192.160.50.1 and gateway 50.2. Uh, in KVM2, if you look at the adapters list, we have I have two adapters. One is private and another one is public. That means one is connected to the LAN and another one is connected to the uh, internet or it is connected to the other router. So the private one is 502. And the public one is uh, 2.2.2.1. Okay. Now I am on another physical machine. Here you can see DVM1 and DVM2. So let's check the IP address of these machines. And here in DVM1, you can see the IP address is 192.160.100.2. I mean, in that the LAN network is 100.0 network. And what about in DVM2? And DVM2 is actually the router, so it has got two adapters. And uh, one must be connected to the LAN and uh, the other one is connected to the public or the other network. So the private one IP address is 192.160.100.1 and on the public side that is 2.2.2 Okay, I'm back to KVM2. So I already installed the role routing and remote access and I opened this tool through server manager. Now I'm choosing an option called LAN routing and uh, click next and finish.
and I am in uh, the second router DBM2 and doing the same thing like activating the LAN routing feature. So routing is enabled on both routers, but still KVM2 can't reach the uh, other network like DVM1 machine. Still he's trying to reach a, a 100.2 machine. Still he can't, but two routers in between, but these routers are not doing routing. So what is the issue? That means the configuration is actually incomplete because um, two routers have no idea about the remote networks. That means the routers here in KBM2 have no idea about the 100 node network and a router on the other side like DBM2 have no idea about 50 node networks. So the next thing is we need to go to each and every router and give this information, right? So here I am in the first router KBM2. Let me choose the interface key public and the remote network here is 192.168.100.0 network. Similarly, I'm in the DBM2 router and uh, I'm configuring 192.168.50.0 network and giving the exact mask. Then you click OK and this time let me try again from KVM1 and uh, you can see it's uh, working, right? This is how you can make use of the routing and remote access feature of Microsoft Windows servers. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.